Hi scholars! Today I am going to teach the lesson through a YouTube video, so at any time if you need, you can rewind, pause, or rewatch the video. Let's get started. Okay, so the learning target for today is I can explain the importance of flashbacks. And in order for us to be able to do that, we have to know what is a flashback? In literature, a flashback is an occurrence in which a character remembers an earlier event that happened before the current point in the story. And why do authors use flashbacks? Well, there are many reasons that an author might use a flashback, um, but the key reason is to give readers more of the character's backstory. And flashbacks can help the reader understand why the character acts the way they do or how their personality and identity were shaped. So let's look at a movie that we all love and know well, Finding Nemo. And this is Marlin. And in the movie, we see that Marlin is nervous and he's kind of afraid of everything. And we really have to ask ourselves why. And we can learn why Marlon is the way he is by looking at a flashback. So let's watch this video from Finding Nemo and try to keep in mind while watching this flashback, why is Marlon always nervous and scared? So right now I want you to pause the video and answer these questions. You can talk to a family member or you can just think to yourself. Why is Marlon overly fearful? And how did he become overprotective of Nemo? Take a second and think about those questions. So let's take a look and, and really try to understand Marlon using this flashback. After seeing the flashback, it's pretty obvious why Marlon is the way he is. This event where the Barracuda came and attacked him and his family changed Marlon and shaped his identity and personality. This flashback was a defining moment for him. So if we look at these questions, well, Marlon is overly fearful because before Nemo was born, there was an accident where his mother died. And he became overprotective because once this happened to Nemo's mother, 
Marlon wanted to make sure it never happened to Nemo. So for your assignment today, you're going to watch this flashback from another movie, um, Ratatouille. Some of you may have seen it. And after you watch the flashback from Ratatouille, you're going to answer these two questions. Why does the food critic love the food? And why does the author include this flashback? Thanks for tuning in.